Welcome back to Ways Learning and what are we doing today? We're learning how to basically finish wine bottles. Um, there's a video we put out on how to make wine and if you're making homemade wine, if you want a little nicer ended up ending up product, you want to give them away as gifts. These are some of the things you do and today we're going to go over how to wax them, but we're also going to go over how to put um, labels on them and I'll go over that. But, um, the first thing we're going to show you, I'm going to show you is how we basically um, put wax, kind of like they do the Maker's Mark bottles, but how you can put a uh, wax top to kind of dress them up a little bit. So here are some of the different variations that I've done. Um, so first of all, so my homemade wine, I made a whole bunch of different kinds, but the name of the brand of it is Screaming Eagles uh, with an S, and it's based on the 101st Airborne. This is their logo. My father was a paratrooper at the 101st and the 82nd Airborne in World War II. So this is a picture of him. So in honor of him, he was a horticulturist. We made um, our wine label Screaming Eagles in honor of him. And um, it's got different collections, like the white is the Market Garden Collection, which is one of the um, battles the 101st um, fought in. And this is actually a green apple Riesling. And I'll show you how to, um, we're gonna put uh, a green wax on it to kind of dress it up. This is one where it's just basically a black top and you can put labels on them. Um, this is one wine that we did for uh, Mom's Weekend for Kinsley's uh, senior year. We put white wax on this to look like snow and we gave these to our neighbors, which just says, May your days be merry and bright. Merry Christmas from the Cubics. And it was a Sangria Zinfandel, but we got a red bottle. This is just an old Cooper and Thieves bottle that we put wine in. Again, it's the Rhine collection, the, the 101st Airborne Jump the Rhine, and it's the Sangria Zinfandel, same thing. We made some wine for uh, Carly and Dave's, my daughter's wedding, and just put a label on all the different bottles. We also used blue, and this again is just um, uh, a Riesling, and so instead of getting the green label or the green wax up top, it's gonna get the, uh, the gold. And to put the labels on, it's pretty easy. You can take a picture, order these. These There's there's six of these that come on a sheet, and I'll put the link below on Amazon. They're waterproof uh, beer labels. Here's the ones from Mary and Bright. Like I said, you just peel them off, stick them on. Here's the ones for the Screaming Eagles. And then here's one um, for the Bastone Collection, which is our Reds. And this was actually a cab. So anyway, just different labels you can do to dress them up. And it's pretty simple. Like I said, I take them to Office Max and get them printed. But you can, you can print them anywhere you have a, a printer at home. So this is the process of how you, you basically turn, uh, put the wax on the bottles. And it, it comes in these little beads. They come in a bag that you can get on Amazon. And then I threw the tops of the old ones in there. They'll melt back down and you can reuse them. That's what this is. This is black. This has already been done. You can see it kind of forms a big old um, cluster in the in the pot there, but it'll melt down and then you can reuse it again. And so I've put um, aluminum foil down just to kind of help with the cleanup. So once we get the um, wax kind of all melted, all we're going to do here is we're just going to take a little bit off the top. It's still still hard underneath. <clears throat> and then we're just going to simply fill in that top portion where the between the cork where it doesn't quite get to the top of the glass and what that's going to do is that just makes a nice little covering it's going to it's going to actually um, harden up and then when we dip it in the wax you'll get a lot smoother looking kind of covering so we're just kind of filling that in like I said if you mess it up just pop it out of the top and redo it. This one's deeper, so it'll take a little more. But like I said, this part doesn't take very long. None of it really does. You're just kind of, and if you mess up, take it off and, and redo it again. But so those are all full. And so now we'll just wait for the um, wax to go ahead and melt all the way to the bottom before we before we dip it. So here we go, the black is waxed. 
has gotten thing here the tops fairly smooth so like I said I'm just going to turn this so I can get the bottle all the way in and then I'm simply going to twist it and set on the grab the next one Let's see if I can show this a little better Turn it to get that wax even. Like I said, it goes pretty fast, but you're just looking to get that fairly filled in fairly well. Spin it a couple times, make sure it's in there. And then, voila. Okay, so here's a good example of what you can have fun doing wine, uh, waxing it and doing different things. We have a shower coming up. <clears throat> so we've got these two pictures that we're gonna print as labels for the wine. Uh, one's in purple, so K-State, so we're going to, um, $16, I ordered some wax um, on Amazon. It's purple that we're going to put on the top of them. And then it's for fake Patty's Day that's green. I already had some green wax, so I'm going to do that on a green apple Riesling. Um, if you don't want to use a pan for your wax, you can also, I'm just, this is just a pineapple chunk can. I'm going to take the pineapples out of it and then I'm just going to put the wax beads in here, heat it up on the stove, and dip them in it. So I'm just going to take the new wax beads that I bought of the purple, put them in the uh, pineapple can. It's getting hot on the stove and I'm just going to melt those to get those ready to fill the top of the bottle and to dip the purple in. Just like I did before with the black, I'm just taking the purple and I'm filling that top part between the cork and the top of the bottle. And again, all that does is it just smooths that out so the other wax can go on top of it when I dip it. And it just makes for a smoother, more rounded top. Um, it's just a little step, but it makes a huge difference on the final product. So once you've filled that top part in of the bottle, you're letting it cool for about five minutes, then it's ready for dipping. You're just going to dip it in all the way to the neck, slowly rotate it back and forth, pull it out, and you're looking to rotate it as that wax runs down, and you're looking to get that wax even all the way from the top to the bottom of the neck, and that's what you're looking for. Here's what the final waxed collars kind of look like, and if you're not happy with them, you simply take a knife, peel them off, and start over. The next step is just to take your printed labels and cut them off if they're not exactly right. Dazzla has a template that you go online and you kind of can take your pictures and drop them in there. It's pretty simple, but I didn't for some reason get them perfect, so I'm just going to trim them up to take the white off and then I'll put them on. And you just want to make sure you kind of go slow and try to get all of the wrinkles out of the bottle. Some bottles, if they're regularly shaped, make it a little more difficult, but a standard bottle works well with these labels. And just once you get them sealed, they're, they're on there pretty well, and they'll usually stay. And like I said, they're water resistant, so you don't have to worry about it. If the bottle gets a little bit wet, the label will stay intact. But they're a fun little gift. Like I said, pretty inexpensive, not very time consuming, but they look pretty good. Here's the final product, and if I do say so myself, I think they look pretty fun. They're ready to give away or for consumption. So thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the little bell if you'd like to get notifications. We'll see you next time.